We, we're operators an inpatient and outpatient service, so we have service users that come to us for clozapine blood monitoring, which is um, an antipsychotic medication that needs regular monitoring so that service users can continue to take the tablets. So we take the bloods for those and we, done the, we do the analysing for the bloods. Kim's worked for the Trust for over 30 years and she's got a real heart of gold actually. She's the sort of person that she'll go over and beyond for, for anybody. To me this is a celebration of her career. I decided to nominate her because she's um, again one of those people that she, it's just accepted she does what she does but for me when you actually look at what she does she, she goes well over and beyond you know the call of duty. Totally dedicated, totally loyal. I'm, all, I'm overwhelmed to be nominated. It was a big surprise really. And I, I, I still am. Because all oh, this is, you know, it's it's my, it's, it's my job. A lot, of, a lot of my clients, I don't think as clients, I think of them as friends. I've known Kim at least 30 years. And she's only, she's taken blood. And you can see how thin my little arms are. And she's only hurt me once. And she knows the names of all the service users by name. She greets them man, by name, doesn't she? Yeah. Outgoing, wonderful, dedicated to the nth degree man. She cares. She's not a careerist. It's nice that a lot of my clients who I see now, we've grown up together. Summer. And it's lovely to see him so well with the families, getting on with life and, as you say, going on holiday, going to university, having children. And that's the best thing about it. Kim's never done anything quietly, um, so I was, wasn't was letting her go. You know, she, her, she's getting to the stage in her career where she could potentially um, retire and, and I wasn't prepared to let her go quietly either.